and welcome back to If Only April. So today's project we're going to be doing some simple fall decorations that you can whip it up in 20 minutes or less and on the strict budget. But the best part about it is it's amazing to do with kids and I'm pretty sure if you're going to involve them they're going to appreciate it and they're going to have so much fun doing those decorations. Well, maybe not so fast. I mean, my four-year-old definitely enjoyed it, but I cannot say how much I enjoyed her involvement. I mean, it was still fun, but her favorite part now is to go and rearrange the pumpkins, which is also pretty fun to do. Yes, let's get right to it! So the first project of the Simple DIY Fall Decorations will be this fall sign with falling leaves. To make it, you'll need any kind of board. I had this old one from Michaels. You'll need a white paint marker, or you can use a chalk, and this leaves laser, laser cutout. Found mine on Amazon, I'm gonna leave you the link below, and a glue gun. First, take out your leaves and arrange them to your liking. Using a glue gun, stick it to the board. As you can see, my kid was super excited about helping me out with them and rearranging the leaves. So how cute is that already? Then write anything fall related on the board. I wrote and the leaves fell without regret as I feel it gives this cheerful vibe and you can smell autumn in the breeze and uh, hear the sounds of rust and leaves telling you that it's time again. You can use stencils but I didn't have any on hand so I just hand wrote it. To make our second project, which is a wreath with felt leaves, you'll need an 8 inch grapevine wreath. I found one in Michael's, but you can also find it on Amazon, although I think in Michael's is a bit cheaper. You also need some different colors of felt and, of course, a glue gun. Simply cut out 12 small leaves in different sizes, different uh, colors, and just glue them to the wreath in any order that you desire. That's it, I told you that those DIY fall decorations were so easy and simple that anyone can do it. Then add like a very cute little thread to it and hang it wherever you want. I think it would look great on the front door or as you can see, I put it in front of my books in the mantel to finish the complete fall mantel look. This project is also super excited and it is garland with a felt leaves and uh, some paper cutouts in the back. You'll see what I mean right now. First, you need to find a template with leaves. Uh, if you go to my blog, you can download it for free from there. Cut out those leaves from felt. I like to use these three different kind of leaves because it kind of gives a variety to the garland and it doesn't look all the same. Carefully cut them out from felt and then they kind of looked a bit pale to me, so I decided to spice it up a little bit and draw with a textile paint a little veins on it. You can also use acrylic paint, but but I had my textile paint, so it worked perfectly fine. You need to take some book, old book. I'm sorry, the sky is falling. Uh, this is actually my book that I use for all my craft projects. And um, yeah, I have no regrets to cut it. Just trace the leaf on the book page and cut it out. As simple as that. And just arrange the leaves with the clothespins. The next project is probably my absolute favorite. So it is this fall centerpiece. If you see my stories on Instagram, which you should probably subscribe to my Instagram, uh, I posted a week ago that I had my getaway by myself from my kids and my husband. And uh, I went to antique store and I found this adorable, absolutely adorable box, which I think looks so cool. And I knew that I want to arrange some flowers and some greenery in it to give it some fallish vibe. So for the centerpiece, you'll need this box. You'll also need a flower foam. It will ensure that your flowers are snug inside the box and don't fall out. I got this one from Dollar Store and it comes in four blocks. And oh my God, can you believe this? When I started arranging it, to my delight, all four of them fit so perfectly inside the box. It felt like it was meant to be. <laughs> How crazy awesome is that? You'll also need some greenery and flowers and pumpkins. I mean, let your creativity run wild. So you start by putting eucalyptus on the sides. It will create some volume and an overall a balanced look. Next, you need to put the biggest objects of the arrangement, which is in our case, a small pumpkins. Try to put them at a different level. I had to turn over 
uh, middle flower foam to make sure pumpkins are at different levels. It also adds some texture to your DIY fall arrangement. When you're done arranging pumpkins, cut your flowers and put them in different places. Try to think about balance and don't put it next to each other, but rather spread them around in, in a harmonious way. After that, you need to go over the empty places and fill it up with some more greenery. I like this type of eucalyptus because seeds add an extra texture and uh, I just love a lot of texture. Lay more pumpkin outside the box to achieve a finished look and then you're done. That was easy, right? I bet you can finish it up in 30 minutes and have a wonderful DIY fall centerpiece for yourself. And I'm sure the kids will be so happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you're new here please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. Yes. Till next week, bye!